Hello everyone, my name is Mama Hearts Makeup and welcome to my channel. I hope you forgive me for using voiceovers for these Halloween looks. I feel like it's just faster and easier to edit and get these out to you faster. So yeah, these are probably going to be all voiceover as far as the Halloween looks. But yeah, let's get into this pastel sugar skull look. I'm going to start out with primer per usual and I'm going to use this glue stick now to kind of stick my eyebrows down a little bit. Stick my eyebrows down? Is that what I mean? Whatever. You know what I mean. And I'm going to go over that with some powder just so it kind of blends in easier with the makeup that I'm going to put on afterwards. Now just brush off the excess there. And now just taking a white eyeliner, I'm going to draw out the shapes onto my face. Um, you don't have to be precise with this at all. That's what's great about these um, Sugar Skull Day of the Dead kind of looks. If it's off a little bit, like right there, I messed up right there on my cheek, um, it's really not that big deal. You just go in and fix it with other makeup and it still looks good. So, okay, now I'm going to fill in that space there with this water activated face paint. I really, really like the water activated paint for looks like this. That way I don't have to worry about any smudging or it like wiping off on myself or anybody else that's around me because once it dries then it's on there pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in the black spots there using a couple different brushes, whatever you have that makes sense, go ahead and use it. I am going into the hairline a little bit and also onto the ear just for continuity because I don't want them to see my ears so I kind of black it out with the makeup. Working it down the neck you can see here and going in on the shape again. It, there's no rhyme or reason to the design of your sugar skull, whatever you like, whatever looks good to you. Um, I'll probably insert a photo that was my inspiration for this look here. And if you're inspired by any of my looks, I would love to see them. But yeah, let's fill all this stuff in, going into the waterline with some regular eyeliner, going further down the neck. Now painting on some bones, again, there's, it doesn't have to be, you know, anatomically correct, because, you know, it's just for fun. Now these cute little curly cues, this is just um, regular eyeliner, just liquid liner. Now I'm going in with this kind of lavender purpley eyeliner. Um, it's really inexpensive. I want to say it's from Wet n Wild, so it was maybe a couple bucks at the most. So these kind of looks don't have to be expensive. You can use what you have. As you can see, I'm looking at my inspiration photo there. Just some nice curly cues, some swirls, can't go wrong with that. Drawing in the mouth roughly there. Now this pretty pastel kind of lilac lipstick. And I'm using the lipstick as kind of like a base for the shadows that I'm putting over. I discovered afterwards that I really didn't need it, but you know, I did it, so I thought I'd show it to you. And I'll put the different colors that I use down below. And now with that same eyeliner pencil, I'm drawing in the little, I guess, teeth, right, for the sugar skull. Right here, again, no rhyme or reason, you just kind of go in, whatever you do on one side, you do on the other. And now to finish it off, I'm gonna add some lashes. You can't really see my natural lashes with this look, so I thought I needed the falsies for this one. And just a little mascara and kind of covering the lash line with some eyeliner. I'll take out those clips, fix this Amazon wig that I'm still in love with from last year, put in a cute little flower, and that's pretty much it. That's the finished look, guys. It's really not difficult. I know it can look complicated, but it's really not. Just give it a try. It's only makeup, and if it doesn't work out, you can always take it off. But thank you so much for visiting me today. I appreciate it so much, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.